This part of the video will show the frequency change in the PEMF as it's been dialed up or down, and you'll be able to see the frequency in the Spooky 2 frequency generator frequency mode or frequency meter mode. Let me zoom in on the meter a little bit. And we can read the numbers and we can see the PEMF in the background, the, the dial and the light. And that, I believe, is really optimal. I'm going to back down one. I think it's just a little clearer one level down. Okay, that's good enough. And we will turn on the spooky. Oh, the spooky's on. We'll turn on the PEMF. And the PEMF right now is flashing around 5.4, 5.5 hertz per second. And I will dial that down and we'll start at the beginning. And it's sub, it's sub hertz right now. In other words, it's less than one. Let's dial it up to one. Half. One point oh nine, one point one, point nine three, point nine seven, point nine eight, point nine seven. Okay, one. We're real close. The coil will uh, warm up, and that frequency will drift a little bit. It's part of the dynamics of the PEMF. Um, the uh, components aren't precision; they are functional. So you can see the light in the background flashing, approximately one hertz creeping up a little bit. It will stable out, stabilize after a while, especially when it gets hot. Frequencies become a little more stable because the var uh, heat variation doesn't change that much. So we're almost one. Okay, let's go up to four point. And you can see me dialing it in. You can see the light changing, flashing at a different rate. And there we are, right on 4 hertz. And what is significant about 4 hertz? 4 hertz is the binaural frequency that the um, blood electrification unit by Bob Beck was uh, built around. 4 hertz is the Monroe Institute binaural frequency they use in their hemisync. And 4 hertz is used in a lot of other places. I intend to use 4 hertz in a few experiments down the road also. Let's dial it on up to Showman's. Showman Residence is the frequency, the average noise frequency of the planet. It used to be once upon a time 7.83, that's what it was discovered at. It is believed to have changed because we have more noise now. It is the average noise of all the electrical lightning bolts, and they're going on all around the planet constantly. They have an average noise. All the geophysical phenomena, earthquakes, um, what else? Uh, volcanoes. It's the average noise of the planet. It is the cocoon noise that you and I were raised in and our species evolved in. 7.83. I'm at 7.8. Um, eight something, almost eight. It's it's flickering a little bit between. It's hard to make that out. Looks like it's between 7.7 .7 and 7.9. Close enough for government work. We're at the Shulman resident frequency, and you can see the light flickering in the background, uh, the base of the light anyway. That the light bulb is a 40 watt light bulb, and it is covered in black barbecue paint. Let's dial it up to other frequencies. We can go up to 10. We could go to the harmonics of Shulman resonance, which in this case would be close to uh, 16. And we're at 15, 16. It's bouncing around a little bit. 
and we can go to a max of 20 on this uh, particular uh, the bulb. Different bulbs give you different ranges. The original PEMF ship with a 60 watt bulb, I believe I'm going to start shipping the PMS with a 40 watt bulb because now we can control the frequency um, via the potentiometer. So 40 watts gives me a nice range between roughly 1 hertz and 20 hertz. That's this part of the demonstration on frequency uh, changing and using the Spooky 2 as a frequency meter.